Well, hello everybody and welcome to a new speed build. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. I upload new speed builds every Sunday and new short videos every Wednesday. So if you're into Sims 4 building content, then definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on if you want to get notified when I upload something new. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like because that really does help me out quite a lot. So today I have an extra special video for you guys because I am doing a collab with the wonderful Sunny Simsy here on YouTube. Now I'm sure you have heard of her and you probably have already subscribed to her channel. If you haven't, pause this video and click the link in the description and do it right now because she is really an outstanding creator. She does the most wonderful, super cute builds and um, she's very creative and um, yeah, I'm very amazed by what she creates and she's just an awesome builder and such a sweet person. So yeah, I will have all her links down below. And as I said, we are doing a collab and we decided to do a build swap. So that means that each one of us created an exterior and then we swapped the builds and created the interior for the other person's exterior. I hope that makes sense for you guys. <laughs> so, um, what you can see right here is uh, my exterior and Sunny Simsy created the wonderful, beautiful interior. So if you want to see the interior, of course, you will have to check out her video, which I definitely recommend because it's just so, so sweet and beautiful and cute and I just love it. So I will, of course, link that video down below and I'll also link it in the eye right here. So um, definitely go check that out. And of course you can download this build and you will find the exterior on um, my gallery, which is Missy Motion. It's my ID and um, that's gonna be just the exterior. So you can furnish it yourself if you want to. And the uh, furnished version you will find on Sunny Simsy's gallery. So uh, I think her ID is Sunny Simsy YT. Anyway, enough rambling. Let me talk a little bit about the build. Now, I found some inspiration on Pinterest and funny enough, Sunny and I had pretty similar ideas when it comes to the exterior, which you will see next week because next week is the next part of this collab coming up on both our channels and then you will see her amazing exterior. So you will have to wait for that. Um, but we both had pretty similar ideas and um, I had uh, the idea I wanted to make something um, very cute and very f with a lot of flowers and a lot of um, different angles and heights and something that's just a little bit um, well kind of like from a fairy tale a little bit like that so yeah and I also wanted to make something that kind of resembles her style or my idea of Sunny Simsy's style so um, I think her builds are always pretty cute and um very um yeah cute is pretty much the word i would go for and um a little bit girly maybe and um that's why i came up with this so um it was uh, the hardest thing was to get the uh, different heights right because i wanted there to be um a lot of towers and as you know we can only build on certain levels in the sims 4 so i had to come up with an idea how to um get these towers to look um like yeah realistic and um actually the the thing i did mainly was i used this um chimney i think it's a chimney yeah i'm pretty sure from base game i'm pretty much 100% sure and um, I used that and I sized it up quite a bit and I used tool to size it up and um, I put that underneath a roof which is actually a floating roof because I put it underneath um, like on a in-between level basically and I did that I say that in pretty much every video because I always do it by um, just placing a room and then um, putting a, a roof on top and then you can just lower or uh, um, put the foundation on a higher level and just as high as you need the roof to be and then you just delete the room underneath and 
the um, roof, as you can he see here, is floating in the air. Now, the, um, the most difficult thing about this is that uh, anytime you uh, add a wall or you add a door or do anything to the walls, basically, that the roof is sitting on top or that the roof is like hovering over, um, it will get deleted. So that's why you see the roofs floating in the air on the edge of the lot because I did not want that to happen, obviously. So um, if you ever want to do that, that's quite a nice trick that I use. Just um, place your roofs and then if you're done, if you have them on the right height, just uh, put them on the edge of the uh, lot that you're working on away from the walls and the foundation and then you will be fine and you can work on your build and just um, take care of the roofs at the end when you're all done. Yeah, so that's definitely a big part of this build are these uh, different levels and heights of the towers. And also another thing I did was create some custom like window window type things um, so I added uh, the snowy escape windows for example and I added the um, jungle adventure archway over top of it so um, also I used tool to make it a little bit sl slightly slightly bigger or s slightly smaller and um, yeah that's another thing and what you just saw right there is um, on the left side I created this there's this one room sitting on the first level and it's uh, I, I wanted this to be very open and um, so I used the archway from um, base game and uh, just sized it up a couple of times with tool like I um, copied it and sized it up a couple of times so that it looks like the whole front of it is just covered in this archway of wood so I thought that was a nice uh, little detail and here I am adding um, some custom stairs now of obviously it's not stairs but I wanted it to look like um, everything should I wanted everything to look a little bit like cricket or um, uh, not cricket crooked <laughs> I think that's the right word um, a little bit like not straight and um, yeah kind of like the the different levels and um, so I decided to um, resemble that in this little stairway as well or in this custom um, wooden stairs with the base game board from debug and then also um, I use these um, wooden I don't know what they're called like tree <laughs> uh, roots basically and I use them to cover up the stairs because I found that kind of looks like um, yeah it's a nice detail and it kind of went worked with the style that I was going for and um, here I'm working on these planter boxes that I created myself too so um, Actually, this was so much fun because I used it's all debug items. I'm pretty sure it's all base game and get together. And there are just these rocks or these ruin, ruin rocks from get together. And I covered everything with them and just added a lot of flowers, mainly the ones from um, Romantic Garden stuff. And um, yeah, just wanted it to look very colorful and very lush and... Yeah, I did that all around the building. I'm just showing, showing you one of these planter boxes, but I did that all around the building. So you will find, I think, four of them. And um, now I'm adding just a lot of flowers and um, bushes and all that jazz and ivy and everything that we have in game basically around the exterior. So um, all the walls are basically covered in flowers and... Um, ivy and all that we have and also I used tool for this because I as I said I use these chimneys to um, create the towers and um, I could not place the flowers on top of that so I had to use tool to um, make that happen and now I'm just working on some decoration and I'm putting down a lot of plants all around the building and on these balconies here and everywhere basically and I will put down some paths because um, there are three doors in total and I wanted everything to be connected for the sims to um, walk over these paths to reach every door and um, I will put a this, this fountain from Gets Famous which is not functional it's just a prop from an acting set I will put that in the backyard as well and cover it with um, flowers and plants and everything so yeah I thought that kind of um, works nice with the style of this build 
And that's basically already it. And um, as I said before, go check out Sunny Cindy's video to see the interior, which is just gorgeous. And definitely subscribe to her channel as well. And stay tuned for next week's video because there we, you will see her amazing exterior and my interior. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you enjoy the exterior that I came up with. And if you liked it, be sure to give it a like and like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very, very happy that you took the time and I will see you in the next video. Bye.